Public agencies must follow the open government law to enhance transparency and accountability by using public notices, all to inform the community about potential impacts. But what is the cost of this compliance? Senator Roy Kanata holding an informational briefing Monday morning to get to the bottom of GovGuam's spending habit. Kanata also hoping to explore additional and modern ways of disseminating notices that could possibly save GovGuam some cash. Public notices play a vital role in fostering transparency and accountability in our demo in democratic society. However, the expenses associated with the con conventional methods like newspapers can be a little burdensome for government agency. It is important to explore alternative media platforms that only that not only match but surpass the reach of traditional forms of media. By doing so, we can, we can ensure effective dissemination of information to the public. In order to tackle those challenges and un uncover opportunities to enhance public awareness while saving the government expenses. About 15 GovGuam agency heads appearing before the legislature to report how much they spent in fiscal year 2022-2023 on public and bidding notices. Not counting the Department of Land Management, whose applicants pay for public notices by way of the Land Use Commission process, 14 agencies spent an estimated $262,548 combined over a two-year period. Among the largest spenders included the Department of Public Health. In FY22, there were 211 notices that were published, uh, which included IFBs and notices of board meetings, um, and that totaled about $39,700. In FY23, there were 133 notices that were published uh, at a cost of about $43,000. And so the total for the, those two years was 344 notices, approximately $82,000, dollars With the Department of Public Works and the Guam Election Commission seeing a spending increase in FY 2022 and FY 23, respectively. For FY 2022, to answer question one and two, uh, we had 36 uh, types of public notices and adver advertisements for a total of uh, $46,420. Senator, remember that for every fiscal year, we have an election. So odd years, we have the primary, and even years, we have the general. So in, uh, we published uh, 30 notices in 23, and 44 notices in 22. Um, we spent $50,715 in 23. Senator Kanata also taking a closer look at the cost of the destruction of stored documents throughout GovGuam agencies, with public health expenses ranking high again. Sanitization and destruction of records, um, it's on an average for two years, 22 and 24, we're looking at about $25,000. It's a lot of records. Jesus Christ, we can buy a, a government official with that $25,000. I'm sorry, sir? H how much do you guys say? $25,000? About $25,000 per year. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we can buy some other stuff with that money. We have a lot, yeah. yeah. Well, we have a well lot I know you guys, have, you're a huge agency. You guys deal with a lot of uh, documentation. It's large spending that the senator says he wants to decrease. Kanata inquiring if agencies are having difficulty digitizing records. Public health in this case already in the process of data management upgrades, looking into storing documents digitally. While on the other hand, some agencies, like the land management, having zero costs to destroy records. In our division, we do not destroy any documents. All land records are kept. Still, land management, like other agencies, is attempting to digitize documents. The agency receiving an unsolicited proposal to digitize its documents as only 65% of its records are stored electronically.